Hey everyone, um, bringing that case, that scan data into Katia to check it out, see how that works out. I know it's going to be just fine, and X brought it in just fine, it looked really good, but I just want to test it in Katia as well. It's an STL, but um, you know, just I just want to see it, because I can. So I'm just going to go to import, I want to find it, and again, I'm going to bring in the same one. Uh, the the smaller file, the one that doesn't have as much definition. Open that up and apply to import that. And let's see, it brings it in nice and quickly. And uh, again, it's out in space. Right? It never set any markers up or anything like that to determine where it's supposed to come in or if there's an absolute or any of that stuff. All I did was scan it in. Um, so there is my STL and now I want to move this down to here right mouse click on my compass snap automatically to selected object and pick it that uh, just snaps it nice nicely for me and then uh, start dragging it pretty close to where I want it to go alright basically like I did in NX right just getting it really close to my axis system like that and like that, that should be good. And then it's just um, taking it, rotating the part. Oops, let's do that real quick. There. Yeah, much better. And let's do that. Take it down. And again, I'm just going to eyeball it. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, you know, if this were real world, if I was actually going to complete this as a as a whole, then I'd be a little bit more about uh, getting it absolutely perfect. But this is just testing, and I just want to verify that you know the data is good. Everything that I'm doing is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and split this cat. Let's do there you are trim split I want that that plane do a split hit apply and we just hide this guy there we go yeah everything looks good it looks just fine again I'd probably just sketch a profile up on this plane for the upper and lower just extrude it out and rotate it away and do the same thing on this end and you blend everything up nicely and uh, make your transition surfaces up here. I think that would be probably be the trickiest part of those transition surfaces, but yeah, everything looks fine. Um, no issues in Katia or in NX. Very good stuff. Again, my name's Steven with Class A Surfacing. Uh, if you learned something, please like the video, share with your friends, and if you aren't already a subscriber, please subscribe. See you soon.